everything I wanted. Reading Dad's old books, unusual hobby for a kid my age. I was hammered, Huck Finn, and holding coffee. No one else could learn it all on the page. I read about growing up. I knew about growing up. And those characters growing up always did it themselves. With the scholar, the good boy, with the books and the brains that are all he'll ever need. Like it or not, his future's set, his fortune's guaranteed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> In a Norman Rockwell painting, the good boy knows exactly what's in store. But I don't want to. Not anymore. I had everything I wanted as the oldest son. Dependable, honest. I'd stay in line. There were parties, of course, but I would never. Never had the spirit, never had the spine. But I understood the rules, abided by every rule. And why would I challenge any rule? I was right to comply. So impressive, that smart kid doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, oh, he's every parent's dream. Say what you want, he's got it all, but things aren't what they seem. Oh, Smart kid reads, but never really knows. But I don't want to. No, that's not the life I chose. What I really wanted was, I don't know anything at all that could pull me off the ground. Getting drunk, getting high, just a way to forget that I'm so mature, so goddamn mature, I couldn't even breathe. At 18 years old, you shouldn't care about being the grown-up or being fair. The boundary's there, but sometimes it's there to break. I want to break the law and say that I did. I want to disappoint. That's being a kid. The good boy life will not be the lot I've drawn. Diploma in hand, and I was gone. So the scholar, the good boy, I'm here on my own, and look who I've become. Good to know, I'm heading for the life I ran away from. Good boy gets his masters and wife and the suburbs and the baby. That's life, but not my life. I had everything I wanted. 